welcome to another episode of Live Your Life with Loveth. There's a special visitation for families right now. Right now. Special visitation for families right now. It is what you pay attention to that thrives. What you ignore does not flourish. As in the case of a farmer. Hello? Yeah. Any plant that the farmer ignores cannot thrive because grasses are normal of things will overtake the, the farm, isn't it? That's the way it is. So what you pay attention to is what thrives. And I know that God is causing families and marriages and relationships in this place to flourish in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I believe that things that seemed impossible are becoming possible for you. I just, I just sense possibilities, possibilities. In families, in relationships, in businesses, possibilities. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Possibilities. We give God praise for everything we are going to be looking at pertaining to family life and marriage and family. Relationships. Because family is the bedrock of the society. Family is the force behind every society. I always say this when I when I uh, take the, the course family, uh, family life in, uh, in a leadership institute, me. I always say that every society is as good as the families within the society. Every society is as sane and strong as the families that are within that society, yeah, which is, of course, the smallest unit, the unit that makes up a society, all right, family. So if God is telling us to pay attention to family life this month, it means it is important to God, right? It means family life is a vital part of God's plan and must also be a vital aspect of your life. You must pay attention to that aspect of your life. And that's why the world is searching for godly family examples. Yeah. The world is searching everywhere for godly family examples. I was having a conversation with some, some colleagues of mine maybe, um, who had their various uh, NGOs for empowerment of women and rehabilitation of sexually abused girls. And we were discussing and we were like, it is not, it's, it's not only an issue of prostitution. It's not an issue of um, teenagers, loss of teenagers, crop of teenagers that we come across who, have, who are now practicing uh, is it this gay stuff and lesbianism and stuff like that. And I'm like, where is this coming from? Yes, I know it is perversion. All right, someone say, yes, it's perversion, it's, it's from the pit of hell, it's Satan. That's true. But true of the matter is, um, people look for cheap options when they tend to lose trust in the real deal. When it appears like the real deal, family, all right, marriage is not working. So when you when we interact with them, they make statements like, "Well, um, this uh, lifestyle makes me happy. So I just want to be happy because I can observe that even some married folks are not happy. You get that? So when we were having this conversation, it it." It really dawned on us that we need to start paying attention to the area of families. Because when there's something to look up to, something to inspire the younger generation, it will not be difficult for them to make quality decisions. And you and I know that every person is a product of his choice. Everyone is a product of his or her decision. Just like Mike Murdoch said, he said, 
decisions decides destinies. And everyone is free to make their decisions. When it comes to family life, or marriage, or relationship, you are free to make your choice. Yeah, because it's, it's, it appears to be like a, it's, it's, it's a private aspect of your life. But one thing you must realize is this. Whilst you are free to make your choices, you are not excused from the consequences of your free choices. That's the way it goes. That's the way it goes. So please, stay tuned with us and follow us as we go through this series. This series, um, Family Life. Rich on the outside and poor in your private, in your private life. Family is not just about a place or building. The quality of life lived in a family is deduced from the quality of relationship that exists in a family. So when you talk about family life, you are talking about the quality of relationship. God is a God of families. We, we get that from Ephesians chapter 3 verse 15. It's right there. The God of, um, of whom the family in heaven and earth is, is named. So it's clear that family is a vital part of God's plan. All right? So it really doesn't matter how much people... Uh, how much church you have, all right, at church? And people come to church, it really doesn't matter. Even if you dance and roll around in church, it really um, doesn't matter much. If you cannot go home and dwell in a degree of normal and peace at home. Hello? Yeah, yeah. It, it really doesn't um, matter much because you realize that a lot of people are, are defeated in that, in that area of life. But that is not that is not exactly what Jesus. That's not exactly what Jesus is about. He said, "I am come, John 10:10, 10, 10, that ye might have what life and have it to the full, a, a holistic, a complete life." Another translation says, "I am come that I came so that you can have a rich and satisfying life, marital satisfaction, relational satisfaction, financial satisfaction." Hello, that's it. That's why I came. So, the essence of Jesus coming is not just for one aspect of your life. It's for every aspect of your life. Third John chapter 2. He says, Beloved, I wish above all things that what? Thou mayest prosper and be in good health, even as your soul prospers. Every part of your being, your body, your soul, your soul, every part, everything pertaining to you. All right? Is a holistic prosperity. So don't believe the lie of the devil when someone when he's telling you if this part is not working, it's okay, just manage this other part. No. Christ died so that you can have you can have a whole life. Alright? A rich and satisfying life. A rich and satisfying life. Don't let the devil steal that from you. The thief commit not but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. And he does that with lies, perversion, deception. Yeah. Begin to tell you, no, it's it's okay. Just just manage it. Manage this. This aspect, even if this part is not working, it's okay. Just, just manage it. If the marriage is not working, the family is not working. So long as business is thriving, it doesn't matter. All right, people can see that on the outside, you know, stuff like that. But that's a lie. That's a lie. It matters that every every aspect of your life is going well. Life to the full. Life to the overflow. That's why Jesus died and rose for us. Hallelujah. That's why he died and rose and and and. And rose for us. Somebody said this, and, and I would like to say, he said, don't be rich on the outside and poor on the inside. Don't be rich in your public life and, and poor in your private life. Oh, it's deception. Yeah, I know some, some people are really thinking about that statement, isn't it? Yeah, don't be rich on the outside and poor in your private in your private life that is it because success in family doesn't just until 
a place or a building. Family is not just about a place or a building. <clears throat> Though a family should dwell in a decent place, right? Not on the street or under the bridge. A family should dwell what? In a decent place. And that is your portion in Jesus' name. Yeah. All right? Your habitation shall be grand. All right? It shall be grand and pleasant in Jesus' name. Yeah. All right? But it's, it's beyond that. Family is not about a place or a building. No, it's not. No, it's not. So when you see people paying attention to these this aspects, you begin to ask yourself, what, what, what's it about? Somebody builds a, a new house and they say, hmm. People begin to get jealous and envious. That's, that's not the thing. There's more to family life than building, than cars, and the stuff that you can see. There is. It's way deeper than that. It's way deeper than that. But ignorant folks tend to envy people based on just these material things, the things that are seen. And, and the things that are, are seen are temporal. But the things that are not seen are eternal. Second Corinthians chapter 4, verse 18. And we are called to focus and pay attention to the, those aspects of our lives, those areas of our lives, our, 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 our families, that are eternal, that are not necessarily seen, visible to the public eye, right? The show off aspect of your life. Because the things that are not seen are the ones that are real, that are eternal. The other ones will fade away. Anybody can, can destroy a house, build a house, destroy a house, take a car, whatever, but... There are some things, some qualities in family that nobody can take away when we pay attention to those areas. So success in business doesn't automatically mean success in family. I believe we are getting that right away, right? That's right. And success in ministry doesn't automatically mean success in marriage. I don't want to go too far, maybe not today, perhaps on Sunday, all right? Uh, 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 your, your, your profession or your title doesn't bring about successful family or marriage. All right? It's an engineer, you know, engineers. Engineers, because of the stuff they do, I'm just, I'm just giving an, an illustration. You know, some, some thoughts. You know, engineers are very active and stuff, and, you know, stuff like that. So they're restless. So they may, not, they may not likely be very calm and caring and affectionate husbands. Who said that? We hear some funny stuff, oh, you know, because this one is a nurse, or this one is a, is a teacher, you know, she's more, she'll be a, a better wife, right? Or a, a better mother. You, you do not seek, seek spouse based on profession. Your profession or your title is not what will make your marriage work. There's more to all that. There's more to all that. It's not it. It's a doctor, it's, it's an engineer, it's this or that. Not even your ethnicity, your tribe. So when I hear people say, this tribe, if you want to be very happy in marriage, marry this tribe, hog wash. If you want to be very happy in that tribe, if you want to marry that tribe, who said that? Who said so? Where is it in the Bible? It is you. Every family, every marriage is as good as the persons that are involved in the marriage. That's right. It's as good as the persons that are involved in the marriage. And I said it earlier on, I said the quality of life lived in a family is deduced from the quality of relationship that exists in a family. Between parents and siblings, husband and wife, is that not so? Yeah, the quality of relationship between husband and wife, between parents and their children, um, between siblings, the quality of relationship is predicated on, on that. That's it. So it is a call for everybody to mind their own business. Right? Pay attention to your family. That's what it means. Uh, First Thessalonians, Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 11. That's what that's it, when he said mind your business, mean pay attention to what matters. Pay attention to your family. It's very important that you thrive in that area. You want to succeed in, in succeed in family, you want to succeed in, in, in marriage. The best question to ask yourself yourself is. What does the word say about this? Just last week, I believe we all heard that, that revelation is the key. Revelation is the key. So a wise person will ask, what does the word of God say about successful family? About a successful marriage, a relationship? About great parents? 
anointing. What does the word of God say about that? Because it's very important to know the truth which makes you free. Jesus said in John 8, 32, he said, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth that you know is what brings about your freedom, your marital success or victory. That's the way it goes. Your revelation about family has a lot to do with your family. There's more to family life. That's the truth. Conformity is one of the symptoms of ignorance. I've come to realize that. You don't know it, so anything that comes, you just swallow it, hook, line, and sinker. You just swallow it, and that's it. But Paul warned in Romans chapter 12, verse 2. He said, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of what? Of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Conformity is, 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 is cheap. To swallow everything. You are vulnerable and susceptible to all manner of manipulative, deceptive uh, 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 suggestions from people who like to glamorize or publicize their ignorance. Alright? It's one thing to be ignorant, it's one thing to be confidently what? Ignorant. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, some people like that. Yeah, what they are saying is wrong, it's unscriptural, it's not embedded or founded or deduced from the word of God, but they are saying it with, with confidence. Glamorizing it. Woo! They will tell you that. He said, be careful about women. Women? <laughs> My brother, I know women. He said, everything they want. And now we say, men? They are, not, they are like this, like this, men. I'm telling you, men? Be careful. <laughs> Arrange your life, my sister. Don't put your hope in that man. I'm telling you, he will let you down. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. Mm -hmm. Now, people are vulnerable to such deceptions when they don't have a personal revelation of how their own family, right? And marriage and, and relationship should be. That's just the way it is. Your revelation about family has a lot to do with your family, with your marriage. What's your revelation about family? Is it, is it, is it based on some lies you inherited from your predecessors? Your friends are well wishers and your peers. What's your personal revelation about marriage? I'm so glad because this Sunday we are going to be talking about vision, purpose, and goals for marriage and family. As well as all that other areas. I'm going to be touching those other areas this very Sunday. This very Sunday. You have to come with somebody this Sunday. Wow. Women are this, women are that, men are this, and men are that. No. Stop doing things that don't work. If it's not effective, you're wasting your time. Somebody tells you, don't tell him. Don't tell your wife. She's well little. If you're building a house for your mother, don't let her know. Compete it first before you <laughs> Ah, my, 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 my. Meanwhile, according to the Bible, marriage is a terrifying invasion of your privacy. Yeah, <laughs> it, it, is, it, it is about the giving up of your pretenses. That's what marriage is about. You can pretend before marriage, you know, we see a lot of that. While they are cutting, before the lady steps out, the man will jump, open the door, does the chair with his, uh, his shirt. I say, sit down, oh baby, sit down, sit down. Are you, is the chair okay, is it soft? Should I put my suit so that I can sit on it? Should I put a tropillo, a cushion for you? When she sits down, I say, I say oh, oh, are you okay? Is it your chest? Oh, no, no, no. Let me wind up the, let me wind up the, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. When he's coming, he says, my dear, do you, is it, do you want ice cream, barbecue, chicken, or fish, or something? What, what, which one do you want? He says, no, no, just get barbecue fish. I don't want chicken, I'm tired of chicken. I say, okay, okay, that's fine. <laughs> they can do all of those ones, <laughs> sisters. Enjoy it while it's while lasting. <laughs> they can do all of those ones, do it because they are still trying to impress you. Eh? Oh, yes. When they're married, when, by the time they get married, I said marriage is the giving up of your pretenses. 
he gets wet drop and they reach my brother. When he gets to a stage, they'll say, I beg, I don't tire for this one. Give me a bar. My friend, come make a bar. I'm not, a, I'm not buying me dry today. I don't tire. <laughs> but that is coming for work. He said, uh, but then, buy ice cream bag. He said, buy what? What would I use to pay children's uh, school fees? Is it some? There's a limit to the drama and pretenses. Are you seeing it? There's a limit. And, and it's, it's not, I know it's the dilemma of many people, many married folks, all of us. Yeah. But the thing is, that's, that's just it. And it's not to, um, to stir up anger, right, or resentment. It's just for you to realize that um, sometimes stuff do happen. That's just, that's just it, all right? Yeah, sometimes you just have to you adjust, you, are, you, you, you learn, you relearn, all right? You learn, all right? It's, it's just, um, it's a phase. It's a phase, all right? Now, when somebody tells you, don't tell this, don't, don't be honest, don't be open with your spouse, hide this from them, from him or from her, and stuff like that, it, it, it's, 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 it's adverse, it's contrary to what the scripture says, isn't it? The Bible says in Genesis chapter 2, verse 24, it said, and therefore, and 25, shall a man, this is God speaking, leave his father and his mother and, they sh and shall cleave to his wife, and they shall become what? One flesh. They shall become one flesh. And they were both naked, verse 25, and they were both naked, the man and his wife, and they were all ashamed. All ashamed. That's why I said it's a terrifying invasion of your privacy. Is the giving up of your, your pretenses, all the drama and everything. That's it. They're both naked and on a ship. So there's a way to live. It just, it just tells you, the word of God tells you. All right? It tells you how to live in marriage, how to live in family. You can communicate openly without being overly defensive. Yeah. Because the success or failure of a marriage is determined by the amount of emotional and psychological satisfaction that is received, all right, from the interaction between the, the man and the wife. Emotional and psychological satisfaction that is received from the interaction between the husband and the wife. So when somebody now buys into the lie of, don't tell him, don't tell her, don't do this, don't do that. Tell me, will there be satisfaction? No. What does the word of God say about successful family and marriage and relationship? That's it. This book of the law. You make your way prosperous and you have good success. Family, in business, in relationship. That's the way it is. Proverbs 24 verse 14 says, So shall the knowledge of wisdom be unto my soul thy soul. When thou hast found it, then there shall be a reward. Knowledge. 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 When you have found it, when you have grasped this revelation, there shall be a reward. And thy expectation, marital expectation, relational expectation, even the area of business or finance, shall not be cut off. Shall not be cut off. Awesome. I'm glad we're going to be looking at this very Sunday vital qualities because of time to look out for in marriage and relationship. Nothing exemplifies the marriage relationship, the marriage, the, the, the covenant relationship between Christ and the church, like marriage. That's why Paul says something in Ephesians chapter 5, verse 32. He said, This is a great mystery, but I speak concerning Christ and the church. Beloved, Jesus came and died so that we can have life. And be fulfilled. And when we partake from the communion, we are relieving his death, his burial, and his revelation. That is just the way it is. His death, his burial, and his revelation. Thank you for listening. We do hope you've been impacted and blessed by those life transforming words. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Live Your Life with Loveth 
follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Live Your Life INT for more powerful messages. Join us next week for another episode of Live Your Life with Loveth. For more information, log on to our website, www.liveyourlifeint.com for questions, counseling, and prayers, plus 234-803-295-7161, WhatsApp, email, lovethministry at gmail.com, and also to order for any of Pastor Loveth Ayanawan messages or books. Live your life, life according to God's purpose.